so we are going to learn about what is data database data warehousing data lake all in a very basic term by using this analogy so let me present you a picture of data so now this is the data so if i ask anyone like what do you see in this image so i can get hundreds of replies you can say that the glass is half filled the glass is half empty the water is coming in you have a, a like glass here and there is a water bubbles here there can be hundreds of answers from this it is a water coming streaming continuously we don't know from where the water is coming there can be various question so if i talk about in the terms of data so data is like water uh, not water exactly data is like a air so you find everywhere now data is like a air you find it everywhere so what exactly is the definition of data is nothing but it is a information information about the facts oh, just a second information about the facts or the observations information of the facts or events so wherever you see nowadays everywhere you have a data so every click on your mobile phone is generating a data every like is generating a data every post is generating a data every transaction you are making on phone pay google pay paytm is making your data so everywhere we have a data so what we are going to do with these data we are going to see all that in our upcoming sessions if i show you this image as a database and i ask you to think for one or two seconds so the data like a water so this looks like a water tank a water can so it looks or it has some cap here so it means that the data is securely inside this or the water is inside this and we have an external pipe for this so again there can be hundreds of meaning from this but what i want to uh, say that the data is stored in the database data is stored in your database so database is used to store the data we are going to see in detail but this is the analogy so let me show you the next image and that is about your data warehouse now think for one or two seconds and so you can see the image it has a huge huge amount of uh, water tank you can call water tank so where uh, suppose in a database you can store up to maybe uh, hundreds of glasses i have shown you the glass image there database in data warehouse you can store hundreds of databases so in data warehouse you can store hundreds of databases so it is a giant it is a very big database you can call that as a data warehousing again it is a structured one it handles the structured data what does you mean by structured data because it is covered it is used for clean it is used for drinking water so it is clean water similarly data warehousing is also used for a structured data only now what do you mean by structured data we are going to see that in our sessions but just concentrate for data warehousing we need a structured data that structured data means that data should be always in the table okay and the smaller size of this is your database and i have shown you the database now let me show you the next image that is your data lake so this is your data lake so again you can answer me hundreds of uh answers comes from the folks but let me tell you what is data lake so data lake is an open source you can see it is an open source it is free and you can store like huge huge amount of data when you compare to the data warehousing you can store gbs terabytes of data in data warehousing but when it comes to the data lake you can even store up to petabytes of the data also petabytes of the data in the data lake and not only structured data you can use structured data you can use semi structured data you can also use a unstructured data in your data lake okay we are not exploring much about the data lake for now at least this is the concept of the big data 
but we will be talking about data warehousing and databases in this session and now let me tell you a simple example and show you the simple statistics like what is happening in every 60 seconds online so if you look at the stats here in 60 seconds that is in one minute what is happening here there are almost 500 hours of videos are uploading on youtube just imagine in 60 seconds and there are almost 65,000 plus or minus instagram pictures 1388 linkedin post 3 lakh plus link facebook likes pins 9000 plus tiktok views snapchat stories twitter tweets you can see just what is happening around the globe for only 60 minutes so what i mean to say is there is a lots of lots of data generating per second so you can calculate for per day you can calculate for per year also so it is crossing almost 2.5 quintillions of data has been generating per day so if you cal if you write in terms of uh, 10 raised to it is 2.5 into 10 raised to 18 times the data has been generating uh, this is the stats shown by the IBM so now let us look at the actual definitions of what is database what is data warehouse and what are the examples of those let us see in our coming slides so now what is database so a database is nothing but a collection of meaningful processed and the organized data so this is important organized data is called a database so database is like a place to store your data so now you might imagine the data is like a water and database has a water tank a small water tank and the uh, water is you like wa water tank is used to store the water similarly the database is used to store the data so databases are typically accessed electronically and are used to support the OLTP so now we'll be focusing more on this what is OLTP and OLAP we are going to talk about this in our coming sessions don't worry but just remember that databases are basically supports your OLTP systems or OLTP that is online transaction processing systems and the main purpose of the database is to operate large amount of information by storing it by retrieving it and by managing it so what are these terminologies like we store the data and once it is stored then we start retrieving it like we start pulling a data from there and if you want to manipulate something if you want to change something then we start managing that also so you have a huge huge amount of data and you store that in your database and if you want to pull out something from this or if you want to manage something from this like if you want to like pull out few records or if you want to alter few records then we are going to use database so let us see what are the common examples of relational database so what does the term relational database means we are going to see that in upcoming slides don't worry so few of the examples are your mysql oracle sql your sql server and your postgres sql so uh, mysql is actually is a uh, relational database management that is also used to query uh, is also used to query the structure query language it is one of the popular language but it is supported by oracle only and it is of a open source that is free so we have a community there so we will be using mysql for this entire course and oracle sql is of there are two types in that so one is one is having a standard and second is an enterprise edition so it is a paid one so we have to purchase a license for oracle but we are using the oracle supported software that is mysql so the next example is your ssms that is your sql server management studio by microsoft so this is also like you can use a free free version you can install that in your PC and start using your SQL Server. PostgreSQL is one of the 
database relational database language that is completely free and open source but for our playlist or for our curriculum we are going to use mysql so these are the few of the relational databases and examples now let me talk about what is data warehousing so i want you all to just imagine the image of data warehousing it is a big tank when you compare to the database so the data warehousing is a system that stores highly structured information from various sources data warehouses typically store current and historical data from one or more systems so let me give you a simple example let me give you a simple example suppose i uh, like i have an uh, bank account from hdfc and whatever transactions i do every day that transactions will be saved in your database obviously database so just a second yeah so suppose i have an account with hdfc bank account and i do the transactions on daily basis so the daily transactions are stored in your database and i have an account from last 10 years i have an hdfc account from last 10 years but the daily transactions which are taking place that will be stored in your database that will be stored in your database but the past records like if i want to have the bank statement of 2015 or maybe 2010 which is 10 years back 15 years back definitely hdfc will have all my bank statements uh, that is the previous data historical data but that is not stored in the database they put all their historical data into their data warehousing that is not frequently accessed so they keep their historical data into the data warehousing and the latest one or the transactions which i am doing it on the daily basis i keep that in a database so database is used for online transactional processing and the data warehousing is used for online analytical processing that is called olap so this data warehousing mostly is used for your analytics purpose like you can connect this data warehousing to any of the bi tool maybe it is your power bi maybe your tableo and you can create reports and dashboards from this data which is in inside your data warehousing i have a separate playlist on power bi so i request you to please watch that power bi playlist to get a detailed understanding of power bi if i am taking a bank statement of hdfc uh, so it may take only 5 to 6 seconds to get the data because it is of the recent transactions suppose if i want the data from la from last 5 years 10 years so there is an option in uh, banking net banking in hdfc there they ask you whether do you want the data from the last 10 years or 15 years so it will take almost half an hour or one hour to get your data so because your data is inside your data warehousing so it takes lot of time to pull the data from here and present it to the customers but the recent transactions are in inside your database so it takes only few seconds to pull the data and show it to the customers so that was the example or the simple analogy what i like to tell you on data warehousing now what the, let us show let us see like what are the examples on data warehousing so one of the most happening uh, buzzword in the market is snowflake so snowflake is a company we are going to see a separate session on what is snowflake but these are the examples or these are the tools or you can call tools or frameworks where data warehousing is used microsoft's azure synapse analytics and amazon's redshift google's bigquery you have ibm's db2 warehousing and oracle's and teradata also so these are the few of the examples of data warehousing and let us move to the next slide that is your 
the lip so as i have shown you the image so you should remember what is data lake so what can data lake do so data lake can store huge 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 amount of data and data warehousing and one of the most beautiful feature of this data lake is you can store any amount of data like any form of data inside this you can store structured data you can store semi structured data you can store unstructured data so what do you mean by structured data so it can be a table or it can be your relational database table or it can be your excel sheet excel sheet just a second yeah so your structured data can be your excel sheet or your table relational database table your semi structured data can be your json file maybe your xml file maybe your html file HTML file these are considered as a semi structured data and for the unstructured data like images your videos your PDFs your text files all these are considered as a unstructured data I have a separate playlist here guys so to see what is data lake what is Azure Data Lake Storage. So I request you to please watch that to get a detailed understanding of what is structured, semi-structured, and unstructured. Let us see a few of the examples of what is Data Lake. So Data Lake can be your Amazon's AWS S3. It is called a simple service, simple storage service S3, and it is called as a ADLS, called as Azure Data Lake Storage and google cloud storage these are called as a few of the examples of the data lake i hope you enjoyed this session guys if you like it please subscribe to my channel keep learning thank you